is the first of the reported debt deal. According to the details of this agreement, the deal would create a 12-member bipartisan committee, one of which we spoke moments ago, that would reportedly identify an additional $1.5 trillion in deficit cuts. How do you like to be on that team? It would then present the recommendations to Congress where the House and Senate would be allowed to vote only yes or no, a straight up and down vote, no ability to propose changes or any of the rest. Fox News senior judicial analyst Judge Andrew Napolitano says this might not be constitutional. He's here now. How so, Judge? Well, because uh, members of the Senate and members of the House have the opportunity under the Constitution to debate items that are sent to them and to modify items that are sent to them, to force them to vote just yes or no with no debate, not to follow the rules of the House, which permits amendments, not to follow the rules of the Senate, which permits a filibuster, is such a substantial removal of the authority the Constitution gave them that this legislation is treading in waters which might not be constitutional. Stated differently, the legislation will so change the relationship of Congress to this group by creating a new group. It will take power from Congress and give it to this group, and the Congress can't do that. And that this group uh, is made up of members of Congress doesn't matter? No, no, it doesn't matter because the Constitution says all, emphasize the word all, legislative power here invested shall be in a Congress. It doesn't say some and it doesn't say the Congress can give it away. Now the Congress has given away some of its power to the FAA, to the FDA, to the EPA, to the various regulatory agencies that we have. But these are in fields that require technical expertise like food and drugs, like aviation and like the environment. This field, which is taxes, there's another part of the Constitution that says only the Congress can decide what taxes are. Only, co only Congress can spend money. There were members of Congress walking around as we speak saying, there's a rumor that this group of 12 could raise or lower taxes. If members of Congress think that they are losing the power to decide what the tax rates should be, then they are creating a monster which the Constitution doesn't authorize. Now, this is not the sort of thing that would just be challenged by, by way of nothingness, that somebody would have to seek a remedy, an individual, I suppose. And guess who that individual would be? Somebody in the Congress who felt, you know, I'm a United States Senator, and they're telling me I can't debate on this, and they're telling me we can't use the filibuster rule, and they're telling me I can't offer an, an amendment to this. That's taking away my power as a U.S. Senator, and that's unconstitutional, so I'm going to challenge it. I can think of a half dozen senators that would file such a challenge. Or, or might. I, you know, a lot of times, though, members ask for a straight up or down vote. I'm sure our viewers have heard that many times. But, that, but that's by decision of the Congress at the moment. Correct. This is this Congress binding itself and all future Congresses to a simple up or down vote. There's another problem with this, and that is the President decides the second round of uh, increases in, in the debt ceiling. And if members of Congress don't like that, it takes two-thirds to stop the president. Right now, it just takes 51 percent to stop the president. So this thing is changing the fundamental way Congress works. And a lot of members of Congress, both parties, and liberals, conservatives, libertarians, progressives, Democrats, Republicans, don't like it. We'll see how they tackle it. And we'll see if the courts want to get involved. Oof. Probably not. I mean, these are great arguments for us to make now. It'd be tough for a judge to say to the Congress, you can't enact this legislation. But to take power away from a sitting member of Congress, I know some judges would love to get involved in that. <laughs> <laughs> judge Napolitano, great to see you. Pleasure, Chef. Happy Monday. You, you can too, catch the friend. judge today and every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday on Fox News, on a Fox News channel as he is, a, not every, but he co-hosts The Five, which is a rotating panel, as you know. Right. Of course, airs at 5 o'clock Eastern Time, thus the name, genius. 4 o'clock in Oxford, though. You can also catch him on the Fox Business Network just up the dial. The, bit, the this program is Freedom Watch. It airs 8 Eastern, 7 Central. And as you know, if you don't get the Business Network, you should demand it.